Hi folks. Hi yeah. What do you think to this? <laughs> We're sat on our bed in our bedroom at Tracy's. Mm -hmm. Never done one here before. No. We've had to shut curtains because it's very bright out. Yeah, yeah it just silhouettes. You, you can't see yeah. it. Mm. Can't see anything, yeah. can you? Yeah. This is this is our room. Mm. Where when we come back to Tracy's. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, we were over at Mick's yesterday. Went over to Mick's. I don't. I, I filmed over at Mick's bit. in the past. Um, mm. um, Tracy took us in the car because she's had she's had two days off work this week. Mm. Um, just she must be due holidays or something. So she's had a couple of days off. Um, she went into Leeds yesterday, didn't she? So, so she was heading that way, that yeah. direction. So she took us to Mix and dropped us off. Yeah. Um, we had lunch at Mix and some wine, as we always do. Um, everything's much the same. Cups of there. tea. Eh? Cups of mint, peppermint tea and coffee. Yeah, I'm, me being alcoholic, I just had wine. <laughs> I think Mick, no, he had the coffee, didn't he, Mick? Did he? As well as, um, he and I had water as well. And, um, yeah, it was a nice afternoon, wasn't it? Yeah. Jane doesn't drink on an afternoon, really, because she, she says it makes her tired, she wants to go to sleep, so I think she was going to wait well evening. She drinks red wine, don't she? Yeah. Vegan. Yeah, you have to. Both vegan. You have to find vegan wine. I don't know what the difference is between. I think it's the, the what filter. They strain it through. Yeah. The filter system. It's fish bone, isn't it? With normal wine, is what fish. Apparently. What to do with fish? Fish bones. The, the they don't use fish bones to filter the wine when. It's vegan. That's something just reminded me. Then of something else I was watching Eric um, from Nomadic Fanatic. He's in America. Um, lives in his RV. Mm. Um, and he, he was saying today that um, you can't even touch your camera, um, your phone in, a, in in America. It's against the law. When you're in a vehicle, to even touch. So if the sat nav's telling you to press a button, if you don't want to do this, you're not really You know, sometimes to... it tries to reroute you um, for some reason, and it tells you, do you want to, do you want to do this, or do you want to stay on your original route, and you press yes and no. Uh, you're not allowed to do that in America. You have to pull over and stop. If they... And he noticed places that he'd been to 10 years ago, phone docking, which is their expression for free camping, wild camping. Um, had no camping Had no camping no, signs, no overnight, no overnight stop, stays there now. Mm. Yeah, more restrictions. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What else were we talking about when Tracy and Trudy came into the kitchen this morning? We are talking about something that had changed oh, I'm about. oh we're on about vaccination for thingy covid oh, I, don't I don't think it will happen um because tracy's taken trudy this morning to doctors and it's a saturday morning yeah i've never known that before the doctor's opening on a saturday yeah i said i don't think i was doing no, I don't think so. No? Yeah. So, that was a bit strange. The pets all pink. Oh, pink. To, to make the boys wink. wink. To me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not giving their rosy cheeks <laughs> reflections from the blouse. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 
Mm. Just been letting Ernie have a walk out in back. Get his claws down. All right. He's been eating dandelion leaves. Again? Again. Oh. You never used to bother with No, him. I didn't. It's only maybe, just recently. Maybe because of his beak. Yeah. He's, he's eating a lot differently since he had his beak cut, isn't he? Yeah. Mm. He opens his mouth right wide to eat things. Like a strawberry. Like... <laughs> You mean giving him strawberries? Just one. But... <laughs> like you're supposed to. You know, they said they're, it's... Like, they're like cream cakes to tortoises, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> as strawberries. <laughs> Shouldn't have them. Very, well, she very used often. to give him them quite regularly, didn't mm. you? Well, I mean, when you've got a box of strawberries, you're going to give them one every day, aren't you? Otherwise, they're. Well, one every day. A cream cake every day is not too bad, <laughs> is it? Just one. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he's only had one and, and his bath, I give him a bath and then um, I put him outside and he went straight to um, dandelion leaves <laughs> that's in the yard. Right. I'll leave you put him some fresh food in his thing and some fresh water. Oh she? Yeah. Oh right. And my master too. I suppose when we're not here, that's her job. Right. Looking after Ernie. What are you looking at? Something. Is something crawling? Uh, no, it's not crawling. It's in that corner. Ah, a bit yeah. of fluff or something. Uh -uh. Probably one of them. Mm. Tracy always change, changes bed for when we come back and has a bit of a dust round for us, doesn't she? Got all my mm. all the books and stuff. Oh, look at mine over in that corner. I want to see a picture. Like, um... Yeah. I'm just gonna. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to see I don't that. Know. Yeah. Can you see that? Man? That's Trevor, the little one. That is what, round about when I was at art college, 1979. Yeah, 1979, I was at art college, and that is, that's me talking to the famous Jeff Nuttall, who wrote Bomb Culture. He was uh, one of the tutors, you can't see that. What is it? It's reflection at. Screen in glass, in isn't glass, it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, Jeff Nuttall. He was a, an artist extraordinaire. In fact, he was an actor as well. He appeared in All Creatures Great and Small. He appeared in that thing about that judge, the um, judge. John, John G. John. No, 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 um, no, English. Oh, um, fat, fat judge. Yeah, yeah, um, Do you remember his name? Yeah, um. Oh, funny little fella. Um, I can't remember. No, I can't. Well, you weren't seen this before. That's me and Pat when we got married. That's better. <sighs> See that? 1968. Wow. How beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. But you've got that ring on. What I ring? Gave you. Oh. It's more like a ring with a sixpence type of sixpence. Oh on it. yeah, I you remember. remember. Yeah. And you, you had to take it off because someone got their finger caught in one at Tanks. Do you remember? No, I did. I, you I got crushed, yours. You crushed, crushed it. it in a tank track. Crushed it onto my finger. Yeah. I had to put it in a vice to get it off. We, we never never got it back after that. No. I don't know what happened to it, do you? You notice how stylish we were in the 60s. Do you see them? The uh, light shining on it. I, oh, I, had, I had button back to, on the jacket. I, I had the cuffs buttoned back so that you could see the cufflinks on my shirt. Oops. Mm. Mm. Uh, 
very stylish. That that was a, a, a maverick jacket. That it had the um, short. It was a short jacket, and it had the little sewn-in belt at the back. Mm. A brilliant jacket. It was a beautiful suit, but I got into a fight and ripped it. <laughs> Look at that up. He did rip a little on the now. Yeah. But she had a grey one there for your Stanley's wedding. Yes. Yeah. Don't know what happened. That up. Don't know what happened to that. Another fight. What? <laughs> idiot. He was a bad boy when he was little, when he was younger. I, I know I wasn't a bad boy, I was an idiot. <laughs> you always getting into trouble, aren't you? Yeah, I was. Always in trouble. Yeah. One thing or another. Is that a different opinion to other person? Oh, no. I, I don't know. Yeah. But it was Pat that calmed me down. No? Not quite. <laughs> Maybe a bit. Yeah. When I met Pat, I started saving money. And yeah. Well, you see, oh, sending money. Yeah. ordered you to save. Yes, when it, you were in. They all see. He said, uh, "Whetstone, and up. seeing seeing you in a perpetual stupor of drunkenness." He said, "He said, Whetstone, open a post office savings account. I'm sick of seeing you in a perpetual drunken stupor." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you won't believe it, would you? Looking at me now, I'm innocent. I'm all innocent oh, now. Yes, innocent. Yeah, it's all guileless. You've always been baby faced, though, haven't you? Baby faced? <laughs> you you look much baby faced there. Mm -hmm. I was when well, I was young. When we got married, they were asking him how old he was. Oh, they were. And you oh, were over 21. Him, yeah, I was over 21 and they were still asking me my age in pubs. You had to be 18 here, didn't you? Yeah. In, in to drink. To drink, you had to be over 18. Mm. Yeah. I remember when we went to see Bonnie and Clyde. Mm. Yeah. And we, we went to a pub afterwards and they asked me my age then. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, interesting. Very. You know this room where we're sat now? That wall there wasn't there. The, uh, the other side of that is the bathroom. The other side of there is the bathroom and that wasn't there. And we used to rehearse. In, in this, this room, it seemed much When I played in the band, we rehearsed in here. Mm. Been much bigger then, didn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it did. Yeah. Because it took in part of hallway and bathroom. Part of hallway and bathroom, and that built-in wardrobe, wasn't there? No, that the behind you is a built-in wardrobe. Oh, mm. In front of us is a built-in wardrobe. Wardrobe, it? three doors that David put in. David did all this. Yeah. He did everything with this house. Hmm. So look, look. Skirting borders and oak doors, oak, oak windows. Doors. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's just a a short little, a little video. video for you for today. Yeah. Yeah. All right, folks. So whether we do one tomorrow, I don't know. We'll see. Sunday tomorrow. Bath mm. day. <laughs> when the dirty sod gets bath. <laughs> He's done his ears this morning though. He's taken all the air off, haven't you? Oh, I had a, that d a Turkish haircut. You know, I, I had an haircut in a, in a in a village in Suffolk or Essex. Yes. And it was a Turkish, you know. He went to town on, on my ears. Mm, and yeah. your eyebrows. I didn't have a scrap of hair on my ears. It was on my eyebrows, I did. And, um, mm. Well, yeah, I felt, I felt brilliant after Fresh. he finished up. Oh, he put some stuff on there. Mm. We go to town, don't they? Right, we're only like £10. Pound. Ten, right. ten quid, yeah. Yeah. Well, we should oh, be yeah, getting well, a hang for that. I know. 
You could go tomorrow. Well, you couldn't because we haven't got ten quid till Monday. <coughs> we, have to, we have to wait till Monday. Ah, uh, haircuts. Well, mm. yeah, we were saying the other day, me and Pat were talking, and she said, well, I've got £40 in my pocket, in my purse, but I'd rather spend it on a meal out than have my hair cut. So there you are. We went for fish and chips. Well, when we were in Nairsborough. Mm, but I didn't... Um, spend it. Cause I didn't spend it because Tracy paid for it. But then we had some wine to buy to take to Nick. So ah, yeah, we did. So I spent some of it went on that, didn't it? Yeah. But I have still got some left. I think I'm saving it. She also, she, she, I like to save when I'm here. <laughs> if, it, if she has a hairdo, hair I have to pay for it. Yeah. And we have to have some spare cash. I have to feel as though we're prosperous. <laughs> we're well off. Mm. Oh, you've got to save your money. Why? Because we're going out on Saturday. Next Saturday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lala's. Well, have you, oh, right. Is, so, when is it your birthday, Pat? Saturday. Saturday. Pat's birthday next Saturday. I said I want to go to Lala's, the Indian restaurant. So, he's got to Tell him pay for it. Um, 72, I'll be. You're 72. <laughs> <laughs> ah, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful as ever. She's Thank still you, pretty dear. pat hmm. after all these years. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ah. So, so that's what we're planning on doing. Yeah. Uh, we've got to get in touch with our Stanley, see what they're going to do. I don't know how we're going to afford to go out with our kids during the week and then go to No, no, I think we'll probably see if they can come to Lala's with us. Oh, yeah, is that the idea? Yeah. Wow. We'll have to give them a. Buzz. That'll be a dear do. They'll better spend the money then. Oh, she's cruel to them. You'll have to spend some money, won't you, folks? So you don't have to buy me a birthday present. We've just got to go out for a meal. Do you know, I not even thought about it. <laughs> well, you know how Tracy she'll want to yeah. contribute. She want to do so. something. Um, a birthday present? No, I don't want one. I've said we'll just have the meal. As long as we have the, a nice meal out. Oh, give Stanley a ring when we finish this and find out whether they can come next Saturday. Okay. See if they can find someone to look after Patch. Okay. Because it'll be a long day for him. Mm. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. You don't want to be listening to all this for a couple of All right, really. folks. We'll see you maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.